What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the trucking journey. I'm Trucker Jim and this gorgeous truck that I am sitting in, the 2018 Freightliner Cascadia, his name is Road Warrior. That's right, we've picked the name Road Warrior as who will be taking us up and down the highway back and forth to Texas. His nickname may end up being Warrior for short or heck we may even shorten it even more and call him War at certain times. But it is official, we got a guitar named Rufus T, a truck named Road Warrior, I got a partner named Elvis, and I'm Trucker Jim, and I'd like to thank each and every one of you tuning in for this episode. We are getting ready to go pick up a truck Pro Trans load here in Greer, and we're taking it to El Paso, Texas. Been a while since I've been to El Paso. Never been with GNP. And after that, we're going to be making a stop at Gats. That's right, the Great American Truck Show. So that should be fun. All right, everyone, before we embark on our journey to El Paso, we're going to have one of my favorite segments here at the Truck and Journey. And you viewers can help us have this more often. It's something I like to call mail time. That's right. First on the list from the fantastic people at onit.com, I have a keto box that has some, well, some keto snacks to try out. And well, maybe if I like these, I may order them on a regular basis. But what's in here, there is a powder mix that I'm going to be mixing up with almond milks. It has hemp in it, which I do have a DOT physical coming up, but that will be okay. I'm um, looking forward to trying that. There's a few other, like a vanilla, chocolate, there's a couple of small packs of mix similar to this. There's miso soup that is made with what's chicken bone broth, so we'll try that out. There's some wild boar jerky. I guess it's sitting beef jerky. It's wild boar jerky and instead of chips and crackers we have crunchy cheese crisp. I know those are going to be good. So big thanks to the people at Onnit. If you're looking for like top notch nutritional supplements, the, this is the same company I used to get my total primate care vitamin packs from that has a daytime and a nighttime pack with alpha brain and all kinds of good stuff in it. They had discount, well they, they sent me an email, they were out of stock is why I hadn't been taking those, but they revamped it and it's a, a new formula now. Um, I hadn't started out ordering those again, but I really did like them the time I was getting them, but they have a lot of keto friendly items there on, on it. But here is the one I'm excited about. This was mailed to our package, which um, the address for our mailbox will be in the description box. But this is from Paul Wibbles, which is in Louisville, Kentucky. I had a chance to meet Paul back in, I believe it was March of this year when I was at the Mid-American Truck Show. So let's see what we got. Do -do -do. Ah, sweet! A vacuum. I don't know if I had mentioned it, but I, I, I really needed a new one of these because the dirt devil that I have in here kind of sucks. But this is a compact auto vacuum with a washable filter, compact size, lightweight, 11 foot power cord. But thank you very much, Paul. And there is one last thing I have to show you guys. Um, as many of you know, I'm a vapor. That's right. And the vape that I did have, it wouldn't fit in well, the place beside the cup holders. So I got a new one. The SX Mini. <clears throat> and I'll have to say, this is a favorite vape I've ever had. It's smaller, but it's powerful. It takes, uh, I think, the 2750, I, I don't know, the bigger batteries. It's got my Fire Luke mesh tank on there. And you guys can't feel it, but this is such a quality build. Well, you guys want to see some clouds? Check it out. All right, Elvis, it's almost time to get back trucking. 
And we're gonna be trucking with some good keto snacks that we'll be trying out from onit.com. And uh and Paul, he sent us a vacuum cleaner, Elvis. Yeah, and a good thing, cause uh, I accidentally left the old one in Kenny Wayne. Oh man. Breaker, breaker, one nine, Paul. Thanks a lot, brother. We needed that stuff, man. Hey, and on a serious note, man, that was very cool. What we said that was what you said was very nice. That's cool of you. Uh, friends, we're getting ready to roll. We're getting ready to roll out to El Paso, and uh, then it looks like we're going to Great American Truck Show in Dallas, man. Woo! And uh, I'll tell you, man, I, the last couple of weeks have just been. I made such a big change in my life, and uh, man, it's it's going to be fun. We're going to have some fun and put some good content and. Uh, if you guys would just uh, tell Jim what you want, man, and uh, we're gonna try to do it, and uh, uh, we're gonna have some fun with music, and man, I'm just having a great time. But right now, we're gonna get serious. And again, I'm I'm gonna say this again, and I hope Jim don't mind. But when it comes to the trucking part, he'll tell you I, I'm I'm serious about it, man. I'm 100% serious about it, and uh, never had a wreck or a ticket in 20 years, and that's how I'm gonna keep it. But uh, we're, I just don't need to confuse us having fun with us lacking on the job. We're safety conscious. Uh, he'll tell you, man, I, I, I'm, I, I'm paranoid about the safety part of it. And yeah, you wouldn't let, let us leave till the, the charge got up to 14 while ago. 13.9 was good That's right. Just the awareness of trucking, man, I'm just, but uh, uh, man, I, I'm just having a great time and I appreciate you guys, the good comments and I, I drugged Jim and poor Missy to see Elvis last night, but I think I think they liked it and uh, but uh, as time goes on, I hope, for, and I hope to meet some of y'all at the truck show but uh, uh, what a great name for the guitar Rufus T, that's awesome uh, and then uh, Mr. Paul sent Jim uh, really something really nice, that's really cool you guys but that's all I got. I guess we're gonna get ready to roll, man. And you and uh, talk and I to told him the name of the truck already. Oh, yeah, while you were outside, yeah. Road Warrior. Yeah. Uh, all right. And uh, we're gonna try to live up to that name. And we're gonna have some fun. But uh, I don't want to stress. We're gonna ride. We're gonna ride. Ride. You know what I mean? We're gonna roll. We're gonna roll this truck. We're gonna make us some money, GMP some money in a safe way. Uh, they gave us new equipment. You can't beat new equipment, man. Uh, I don't care what kind it is nowadays. If you take care of it and stuff, it, rolling and new equipment matters. So uh, they, we had a couple of things this week, and the shop jumped right on it, man, and fixed it, and we're getting ready to ride. So I'm ready to ride. Jamie, you ready? I'm ready. I'm baby. out, baby. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Thank you very much, Elvis. But hey, YouTube, what did you guys think about the little... Uh, combo song I put together to introduce warrior you know road warrior our old pal war just in case you missed it here it is again have enjoyed getting to know Road Warrior just a little bit more. Great truck, very smooth, very modern. I love it. Kenny Wayne, it was nice trucking in you, but now I'm with the Road Warrior. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode, but before I do, let me give you guys a little bit of an update. Our old friend and my old trainee, Kentucky Trucker, some of you may have been following his story. He's been out of the game for about a month now. He hurt his arm and his elbow. Well, he had surgery yesterday. He made it out of surgery. The surgery went well. He's healing. He's high as a kite on pain pills right now and he's expecting to be back out on the road probably in the next six weeks. So uh, we're all praying for you, Kentucky. Wishing you well. Get well soon. And I would like that thumbs up pic that I talked to you about. Kentucky's got a great wife that's being very helpful and supportive of him right now. So that is awesome. Um, Elvis, he's in there brushing his teeth. So I don't know if you guys are going to see Elvis in the rest of this video. But you know where you will see him? You'll see him in the next one. And in the next one. Uh, we're on our way to El Paso now. I think we're maybe 800 
miles or so from there so we'll be delivering sometime in the early early mornings then after that we're going to get a load and we're going to take it to Gats. that's right the great american truck show he and i are both already registered for anybody that's going if you register i don't know before it starts it's free otherwise if you go you know the day of the show i think it's like ten dollars to get in or something like that so um i hope we're gonna see some of you guys there uh any of you truckers or especially youtube truckers that are gonna be there you know where you're gonna be you know parking the truck and everything because that's what we're doing we're not you know getting a hotel or anything let us know maybe we can hook up and do a little collaboration together hey but look who's walking up trucking elvis <laughs> I'm leaving that in there, Elvis. You think I'm going to edit it out, but I'm not. But everyone, we'll see you next episode. But until then, be safe out there. Oh, you guys want to see a little more of uh, the Road Warrior with his theme song? All right, here it comes. But until next time, be safe out there and keep on trucking. <laughs>